Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. And we're seeing some people on Zoom and people are joining in on Zoom. And if you're on Zoom, it's better for you to actually be on video. Uh, we want to see you there. And rather than just be blank. And everyone around the world, watching by way of television, our television channels around the world, and we added Guyana. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. We added Guyana. Good news, Guyana. Yes. We have that. Thank you so very much to the partners and the women that are actually moving the needle around for us to have that um, section of the world uh, put under the Good News World Television Network. Network in the world with the good news of God and the working miracles of God. Now, and on the stage, of course, I've got uh, some brilliant, brilliant faces. Uh, I think you can see them. You can see them. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. So they are, they, are, they are here to discuss this subject, aliens and other worlds. Hope you're here, guys. Now, we want to we get to a point where we understand something about the scriptures. Are you getting this? Yes, sir. Are you getting this? Yes, sir. The detailing of the scriptures can be chronological or topical. In other words, the Bible might not put everything in order of events happening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The fig tree might happen before Jesus is moving this side and Jesus might, uh, in another place, Jesus is moving and this is happening. And you think, wait a minute, which one started? Mm -hmm. The Bible is not concerned in other areas on the chronological lineup of events, but sometimes the topical. What topic to start first oh, yes. Oh, yes. and then to follow? So people be like, which one started? Mm. Did he go here, then he went there? No, 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 no. It is simply topical oh, yes. and chronological. Sometimes it follows the events, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes chapters that you think started first are not the ones that started first. Mm. The ones that are actually after, that might actually happen before this chapter. Oh, yes. So topically and chronologically. chronologically. So get that. Oh, yes. When you get that, then you realize that sometimes for you to understand which happened first, you can only find it in, in the context of a chapter. That mm -hmm. this chapter might actually be where I can know the chronological order. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. So yes. chapter 9 and chapter 12 doesn't mean say chapter 12 happened uh, later. It might be the one that started in chapter mm -hmm. number. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You're getting the point. Yes. So we want to start on this brilliant, brilliant subject. Are there other worlds out there? Mm -hmm. Are there other worlds out there? Yes. This is the most important thing. And do we have aliens? Mm -hmm. I want to start by saying God is an alien. Mm -hmm. My God. <laughs> no. Yes. But, but immediately saying that, uh, immediately saying that gets people like, what do you mean God is an alien? Mm -hmm. he's, he's from outer space. Yes. Oh, yes. In order for him to come to earth, he needed a spacecraft. Mm. He even needed to hide within a person. Oh, wow. For you. So he could be born like others, so he could gain flesh. Yes. Mm. Wow. Yeah. So that means he can't operate on this earth mm. on the pretext of having something that looks like him. Oh, yes. mm. When God created the heaven and earth, he did something very spectacular. Mm -hmm. He said, let them have dominion. He excused himself from the dominion. He gave mm. us the dominion and he said, I don't have the dominion. Meaning to say, God has no power on earth. Mm. Oh. So prayer then becomes a transfer of license where we give God license to operate on an earth that he has given us the power to operate on. So most people don't know what prayer is. Prayer is simply us transferring our license to say, God, we know you do, you're not allowed here. <laughs> now we are giving you the license to operate here. This is the reason why God could not create Eve out of the soil. Out of, out of soil because he had already given Adam the soil. Oh, yes. 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 So now the only thing that belonged to him was Adam. Mm. Mm. Not the soil. Wow. So he could not reach out to grab the soil to form Eve. Mm. He could reach into Adam wow. to form Eve. Eve. Wow. Wow. So by that reasoning, we understand that the Bible also says in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Oh, yes. If God created in the beginning, it simply means one thing. Mm. 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 If, if the Bible says in the beginning, it simply means one thing. Mm. 
God himself created the beginning. Mm. Yes. If he created the beginning, he was not in the beginning. Yes. Mm. He was outside the beginning creating the beginning. This is why I always tell people that the first verse of the Bible is not Genesis 1 verse number 1. Because Genesis 1 verse number 1 speaks of the beginning. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. But John 1 verse number 1 yes. speaks of it, but in a different way. Wow. John 1 verse number 1. <laughs> in the beginning. Wait a minute. John, Genesis 1 verse number 1. In the beginning. In the beginning. beginning. We're still waiting. In the beginning, but in the beginning of Genesis, God created the heaven and the earth. If then he created the heaven, he doesn't live in heaven. Because you can't create what you are in. He is creating a new thing outside. I don't know if you understand this. Then we go to John 1 verse number 1. Quickly because we don't have time. In the beginning was the word. He's speaking of another beginning. Before the beginning of Genesis 1 verse number 1, God is creating something when he said, I want to create. John is looking at that time, few seconds or a second or a millisecond before that, and he said, what was there when he decided to create the beginning? There was only the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. If you got Revelation 19, it actually tells you his name is also called the word. Meaning Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So if you go to John 1 verse number 1, it says, In the beginning was Jesus. Wow. And Jesus was with God the Father. Yes. And Jesus was God the Father. Huh. Wow. So we understand from that context. Mm -hmm. Then we go to Ephesians 4 verse number 10. Yeah, let's, let's quick uh, rolling so that this thing can move fast. Mm -hmm. um, uh, because these verses are coming to me and demanding to be spoken. Oh, yes. He that descended in the same also that ascended far above all heavens, that he might feel all things, that he ascended far above all heavens. He knows exactly where he stays. He left the earth and went far above the heavens and all heavens. The apostle Paul says, I know a man who was taken to the third heaven. And yet Ephesians 4 10 says, he went past all heavens. Going where exactly? Because we thought you lived in heaven. I don't know if you are still with me. Yes. Or I'm, I'm, am I being too fast? Are you getting this? Oh, yes. yeah. mm. Now, so, 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 he that descended is also he that what? Ascended. Why did he descend? Mm. The Bible tells us that if you try to go up, I will hold you. If you go down, the serpent will bite you in the depth of the sea. Wow. So that means there is also another world where? In the sea. In the sea. There is another world where? Out wow. in the space. Wow. Now, I don't know if you're getting what I'm trying to say here. That being said, I want you to, I want us to deal with something of importance that will show us there are other worlds. But this is not something you're, you're going to like. Because the t preachers and teachers have told you something that can be an allegory. I'm not discounting, I repeat, I'm not discounting what the preacher said. I'm just telling you that in that scripture, it doesn't say it. Mm. The devil did not fall with a third of the angels. Mm. <laughs> oh, you see, this is, this is where. <laughs> there is absolutely no scripture for it. All right, let's read it together because... This might be a problem for some people. We should we read it together? <laughs> the book of Revelation, chapter number 12. And I, I want to start maybe from verse number 3. Uh, then we go to verse number 7 where he talks about it. Yes. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. Where is this? Where is this? In heaven. And behold, a great red dragon having what? Seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. Mm -hmm. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them into the earth and the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered. Now, you see what I'm talking about now? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. This cannot be referring to Genesis chapter number one mm -hmm. or rather chapter number six. Yes. No, it can't. Mm -hmm. Why? Because this is talking about Mary giving birth. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. 
talking about a woman giving birth. I, I get it. People yes. say, oh, she's talking about Israel. Yes, let's talk about Israel giving birth to the Messiah. When? Mm. I don't know if you're getting this. Mm. Well, wow. I don't know if you're getting what I'm trying to say here. How is it so that the scriptures, let, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And, and, and did cast them to the earth, mm -hmm. and the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, to devour her child as soon as it was born. We're still yes. talking about Jesus. Yes. You can say we're talking about Israel. That's all right. Yes. Like I said to you, yes. that's an allegory. You can take the, what the preachers say. You can take what theologians say, some of them. Yes. And she brought forth a man child. Who is this? Jesus. 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 So we know it is not Genesis. Mm. Wow. Talking about the birth of Christ. So we're talking about the Jesus, birth of Christ. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron and a child was caught up unto heaven. We're talking about not what? The resurrection. The resurrection. So this event is happening between the birth <laughs> and the resurrection of Jesus. Oh, yes. Now nah, you might say, oh, I don't understand what you're talking about. Mm. Luke 10, verse number 18. Mm. Bring it Quickly, so. because of time. Mm. This is the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. uh, God. Yes. Oh, my God. And he said unto them, I saw Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Mm. He's saying, I'm, I'm seeing it. Oh, yes. In that event, after the event, he said, I've just seen Satan fall. Mm. So we know the timeline is between the, the birth of Christ and the re return of Christ to, you know, the ascension. Oh, yes. So we definitely know when this woman mm -hmm. and this third of the stars yes. are falling. Yes. But we also know that the fall of angels is back in the book of Genesis. Oh, yes. So this cannot be the second year. Let's read the scriptures in the book of Revelation we're reading. I want you to see something. Oh, wow. Some people are not wow. getting it. They're not, they're not getting it. Getting it, sir. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Bring it on. And the woman fled to the wilderness where she had a place prepared of God and that they should feed her for a thousand and two hundred and three score days. Do you remember what he's talking about? We're talking about the Jewish nation now. Yes. We're back. Mm -hmm. Now hear this. Hear this. And there was war in heaven. Hear me correctly and hear me clearly. Mm -hmm. Michael and his angels... Notice the Bible is not hiding saying stars. Yes. It's saying angels yes. clearly. Yes. Oh. Fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And prevailed not. Neither was their place found anymore in heaven. Mm. And the great dragon was cast out. Notice this. Oh, yes. Did he drag or he was cast out? Cast out. He was cast out. See, you're not getting it. Are you, are you getting me? Yes, Everyone yes. are watching around the world yes, and those on Zoom and those around the world. Mm. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Mm. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent mm. called the devil and Satan, yes. which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth mm. and his angels were cast out with him. Notice here, we, there is third heaven, there is second heaven. Yes. We, are we talking about the real heaven where God stays? This is the issue. Mm. And remember, we dealt with God doesn't stay in heaven. No, he yes, doesn't. Sir. All right, you're getting it. You're yes, getting sir. it. Yes, sir. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation. Mm. When is salvation coming? <laughs> During the death of Christ, salvation is here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, oh no, they're not getting it. Because the devil is still the accuser of brethren in the Old Testament. Oh, yes. I had a time where I said to God, why is the devil being found in front of you, before you, to, to talk about Job? Yes. Mm. Why is he allowed, the, why is he considered a son? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had a problem with it for days and days. Mm -hmm. It was as though I was angry with God. You know, when you're complaining, mm -hmm. but you, you fear being angry because you can't be angry at God. You, you get the point? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Until God, I was doing something and God said, son, and I was like startled and I, and that thought came in. That oh, yes. scripture like flooded my mind. Yes. Mm. And I said, what is this one? Why, why was he allowed? Mm -hmm. He said, you tell people that the Bible is a constitution, don't you? Yes. What is it? I said, it's a constitution of our country. Oh, yes. He said, yes. And what is it? I said, it's the last testament in the world. He said, why, where do you use the word testament mm. and will? He said, in a legal 
setting. Oh, yes. So yes, and in that legal setting, who am I as God? Mm -hmm. I said, you are the judge. Mm -hmm. He said, okay, what about Jesus? Mm -hmm. I said, Jesus is the mediator, the lawyer. Oh, yes. He said, what sort of courtroom would there be a judge and a lawyer mm -hmm. without an accuser? So this is the reason why the accuser needed to be there. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Because there is this. Oh, yes. It's a legal thing. Mm. And in the heavenlies, we have so many court cases. Mm. We have the higher court, which is a supreme court, oh, yes. where only the sovereign of God, the sovereignty of God rules. Mm. Yes. No one can argue with God when he decides from, a, from that supreme court. No oh, yes. one. Oh, yes. Oh. Yes. Oh, my God. No one can argue there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When God said to, to humanity, uh, let us create, as he was talking to himself in the community of the Godhead, because there is what? There is unity, diversity, and communication in the community of the Godhead. Oh, yes. Wow. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. So when he spoke to himself in that community of the Godhead, mm -hmm. he spoke a word, and they agreed as him agreeing with himself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Lord said to my Lord, he came out of himself and looked at himself and began to speak to himself. He said, the Lord said to my Lord, Sit down at my right hand. Wow. He's talking to myself. He came out. He's talking to himself. He, he came out. And, and, then, and then began to look at himself. And then he started talking. Now, that agreement is made in the supreme, heaven supreme court. Where no angel, no human being is allowed. If that court decides, nobody can say anything. That means if that court decides that human angel is a prophet, <laughs> you can come with 29 versions of the Bible and a shotgun and a pit bull. It will never change the truth. Mm -hmm. now, now then from there, you can go to what is called the legislative. Yes. Mm -hmm. There is the judiciary. Then there is the legislative court. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In one location, you can argue. Oh. That's why God says, bring your strong reasons and let us argue. Bring your strong reasons. Bring, let us reason together. Oh, yes. In that one, he's accepting that you can actually do it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're getting this. Yes. When John was crying, John was weeping and crying and crying mm -hmm. that I have not found one who, is open, who can open the book. Mm -hmm. All of the earth mm -hmm. is filled with moral decadence, mm -hmm. sin, mm -hmm. and falsehoods and deceptions. Mm -hmm. yes. And he said, no one can open the book. Mm -hmm. Remember what God said? He went there and the angel doesn't know it. Mm. And one elder from the throne, one elder from the throne, left the meeting that they were having on the throne. Oh, yes. mm. 24 elders, mm. one elder stood up. They were left oh. as 23. Mm. <laughs> and approached John. He said, John, wow. do not weep. Mm. I know you think when you're looking from a judiciary point of view, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh -huh. you can't reason here. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. You have not been allowed. Oh, yes. And whatever you were weeping for, mm. You could not get the judgment in your favor. Oh, yes. But do not worry, there is a Supreme Court. Ah, yes. And I just came from the discussions of the Supreme Court. Amen. They have found one who could open the book. Wow. And his name is Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's a decision that is only what? Jesus. On the Supreme Court. So even if Jesus hears your cry from a judicial perspective, oh, yes. what he will do is, he will then go back to the Supreme, Supreme. Supreme. Oh, yes. and then speak to <laughs> himself. In the community of the Godhead, Amen. and begins to agree with himself. Mm. Ah, that's why the Bible has this 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 colorful language mm -hmm. on God oh, yes. when it's talking. In the beginning was yes. the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Ah. It's like a um, a cocktail yes. of brilliance. Mm. You, you're getting what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Uh, even my favorite verse which is 1 John 1, 1. Amen. 1 John 1, verse number 1. Mm. 1 John, 1 John, 1 John, 1 John. Are you, are you, are you getting what I'm yes, trying to say? That which was mm. from where? The beginning. From the beginning. Ah. ah, you know, we might start prophesying here. You know, you're getting the point. <laughs> that which was from the beginning, which we have heard. Yes. Which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, <laughs> and our hands have endowed of the word of life. Ah. Wow. Yes. 
For the life was manifested. Mm. Mm. No. You see, Jesus was the life. I'm still talking about something else, but anyway. And we have seen it. Mm. And bear witness. Mm -hmm. And show unto you that eternal life, which was with the Father. And one was manifested unto us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That which we have seen and heard, declare we unto you, mm -hmm. that you also may have fellowship with us. Mm -hmm. And truly our fellowship is with the Father and with the Son, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. That's why the apostle said, we do not follow cunningly devised mm -hmm. fabulous. Yeah. But we are eyewitnesses of these things. Mm -hmm. That which we have rubbed against, mm -hmm. which we have touched, which we have handled. Mm -hmm. So this Jesus is no longer something that you are touching oh, somewhere. Yes. Now notice there, I want, you to, I, want, I want to teach you something here. Mm -hmm. Notice, he says, that which was natural, mm -hmm. how be it it was first, mm -hmm. and then came that which is spiritual. Oh. Mm -hmm. wait, wait, wait a minute, you mean, you mean to say there is a spirituality in mm -hmm. Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. That Jesus is a spiritual being, mm -hmm. yet he could bleed. My God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you could die on the cross. Uh -huh. mm. A spiritual being. A spiritual being. A spiritual being. Says the thing that started was natural, which is mm. Adam. Oh, yes. mm. Then the thing that came mm. is a spiritual being. Mm. Mm. But the spiritual being could die, we could touch the blood. Mm. Mm. We could lock it in a, in a grave. Yes. Mm. So, so that simply means the thing that we think is spiritual. Oh, yes. When we think of spiritual substance, we think of wind like, it's, like this. Yes. No, you can bump into an angel. Hey. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if they're getting this. Because that world is intermingled with this one. Oh, yes. There are worlds. God did not speak one world, create one world. He created worlds. And if it is a world, it should have inhabitants. Mm. Oh, yes. Hey. Nah, you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know you are. I, I don't know if they are getting what I'm trying to say. Ah, now, so, so, let's go back to the, to the, because I don't want to go to a place where you, you get confused a little bit. Mm -hmm. But let's go back to, to Revelation so I can show you something. Mm -hmm. And I heard a loud voice saying, now is come salvation, strengthen the kingdom of our God and the, and the power of his Christ. Mm -hmm. Are you getting this? Yes. Yes. Uh, 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 go back, go back, go back. And the power of what? Of his Christ. Mm -hmm. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. So it shouldn't be in Genesis because there were no brethren. Mm -hmm. No, I don't know if they're getting what I'm saying. <laughs> do, do, do you get it, Pastor? Yeah. Genesis, they were not brethren. People had not been created. Yeah, mm. they were not even there. So if this fall mm. is from Genesis, mm. which brothers are we talking about? Mm. Mm. These people were not yet created. <laughs> so who are these? <laughs> <laughs> For the accuser of our brethren uh -huh. is cast down. Mm. Which accused them before our God day and night. Yeah. Mm. So he was already doing it day and night. So this is not a prophetic word for the future. This is... Wow. He was only yes. doing it day and night. It's and how did they overcome him? By the blood. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Of the lamb. And the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives. And I want to just want to tell you something. Uh, just digressing. Do you notice we do not overcome the devil when we get a miracle? Mm. You getting a miracle is not beating the devil. Mm. Mm -hmm. It says we overcame him mm. by, the by the word of our testimony. Mm. When you testify the miracle you got, that's when you defeat the devil. Wow. My God. <laughs> so people are just excited that they got a miracle. Mm. And they remain silent. And the devil is, is thinking, yeah, you have not fought. Mm -hmm. You have not won anything. Mm -hmm. We are still in the ring. Mm -hmm. wow. mm -hmm. Until you say to yourself, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I need to tell it on the mountain. Yes. <laughs> tell it everywhere. Oh, yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. Deep stuff. Mm -hmm. Wow. So too many people get miracles mm -hmm. and they lose their miracles. Or they continue getting that miracle. Or they keep the miracle. But it leaves no impact. Mm -hmm. Because they did not tell of what God has done for them. Oh, yes. We only what? Overcome the devil. So a miracle is not proof you have overcome the devil. Mm. A testimony of that miracle 
mm. is proof you've overcome the devil. Oh, yes. Wow. Oh, yes. Wow. Oh, yes. Wow. Wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Mm. We have so many people who are HIV, negative, mm. people who were dead, mm. came back to life. Mm. And then when you say, can you give the testimony? They'll start saying, oh, I'm so, I'm ashamed of my, this the no. disease is not something I can tell the world. Mm. You're like, okay, mm. go home, bye. Two months later, two years later, they're back. Mm. What has happened? Mm. I don't think I was healed completely. You were. You just lost it. Yes. And I get a lot of preachers who say, you can't lose what is genuine. If a miracle is genuine, it stays forever. Mm. Which scripture are we using? <laughs> I want to give you this context yes. so you understand. Yes. We serve a God who changes not. Amen. Wow. Yes. yes, he just changed the mm. governance. Mm. 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 I don't know if you understand this. He, he changes governance mm. and he's a God who changes not. Mm. <laughs> but he changes. changes the governance. If my people who are called by my name mm. shall humble themselves and call from heaven, mm. I will also do that. Mm. I will come and heal there. So you changed. You changed. Oh. Because of my coming to you. Mm. So you're a God who changes and you're calling yourself a God who doesn't change. Hey. <laughs> Context. That means he's a God who is in his character of changing. He doesn't change. Hey. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> I once ministered on this subject called the God of the U10. Mm. The God of second chances. Oh, yes. mm. What does it mean? That means he changed. That's changed. Mm. So if you know God changes, mm. then he doesn't change from being a God who changes. Mm. Mm. He is consistent mm. So he changes not. Oh. He is consistent on changing. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> They said I will do a new thing. <laughs> he says, I do a new thing. Brilliant. I'll I do a new thing. Wow. Yeah. So you just changed. Yes. changed. You were doing old stuff. Yeah, then you are doing you know, a new, new thing. thing. Wow. If I announce a prosperity to a nation mm -hmm. and that nation sins against me, mm. I will also repent mm. from the good I wanted to do to that nation. Mm. That's God. He's changing. He's changing. Mm. So what then does it mean the God will change it not? He is consistent in, <laughs> consistent in the character of changing. changing. Mm. <laughs> so he does not change this character. Hey. Wow. Thank God God can change. Oh, yes. Yes. Amen. <laughs> we would be dead right now. Yes. Everyone would be dead if he did not change. Yes. That's a sermon. Mm. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Behold, I will do a new thing now. Shall spring forth. Shall ye know, know it? He said, I, it's so open eh, mm. that I've changed, that you know it. As I said, 43 and 19. He says, it is so. I will make even a way in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert. If he decided not to change, there will not be there this wilderness, these rivers. Uh, uh, yeah. Change the wilderness. Wow. wilderness. <laughs> wow. I know you didn't get, you didn't get that. Oh. So what are these? A third of heaven. Mm. These are planetary bodies. Oh, yes. mm. These are worlds he's changing. Wow. All right, you're, you're, you're not getting me. Mm. Okay, Acts 19.35. I want to show you something. Acts 19.35. Amen. Quickly because of time. Mm. Mm. Around the world, something is taking place. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And when the town clerk, notice, this is not the bishop or the archbishop. This is a town clerk. Mm. Oh, when yes. the town clerk had appeased the people, he said, ye men of Ephesus, what man is there? Is there a man here? Mm. That doesn't know what I'm about to say. Mm. That the city of the Ephesians is a worshiper of the great what? Goddess Diana. Mm. Of the image that fell from Jupiter. Mm. Whoa. Mm. No, 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 no. An alien. No, I don't know if you are getting what I'm trying to say here. Mm. Since we know, we know something fell from Jupiter. Whoa. And we worship it. We were all there. We saw it came down. They said, no, no, no. Mm. Shush. Seeing then these things cannot be spoken against. Yes. Ah. He ought to be quiet to do nothing rashly. Hey. <laughs> I don't know if you're getting this. Mm. They were assured that there was another world mm. where things could drop from. Mm. Wow. I want us to see whether God treats Jupiter as a star 
We know he's a star according to planetary bodies. Mm -hmm. All right? Or planets, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. All right. Romans 8, verse number 3. Quickly because of time. Mm. Now, possible, let's read it. Romans 8, verse number 3. Mm -hmm. For what the law could not do, mm. in that it was weak through the flesh, mm. God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh mm -hmm. and for sin, mm -hmm. condemned sin in the flesh. Mm -hmm. Verse number four, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us mm -hmm. who walked not after the flesh. But after the spirit. Let's go to three again so that you see this because I know you're, you're missing it. Three again. For that, what the law could not do. Do you see that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Sweet, sir. In that it was weak through the flesh, mm -hmm. God sending his son in the likeness of flesh. Mm -hmm. That means he possessed another type of body. Mm -hmm. Notice what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. There are bodies celestial mm -hmm. and there are bodies terrestrial. terrestrial. Notice what he's saying. He's not telling us the wardrobe of bodies in heaven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's telling you they are humans. They are creatures celestial. Mm. That possess celestial bodies. Wow. And there are others that possess what? Terrestrial bodies. Wow. So you are being told they're aliens. Mm. Ah. Okay, maybe they're not getting this. Wow. 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 Oh, we have the scriptures. Mm. I don't know if you understand. Yes. 1 Corinthians 15 40. Yeah. Watch this. They are celestial bodies. Mm -hmm. And they are bodies what? Terrestrial. Yeah. I want to show you something. <laughs> Too much. This is too mm. <laughs> wow. This is just too deep. We are ah, yeah. to be living in the days of prophet Uber Angel. These yeah. things, yes. you cannot just mm. get them. Mm -hmm. Are you getting this? Oh, yes. Praise the Lord. Praise mm. the Lord. And they are celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial. Wow. I, I, I want you to, to see here because sometimes when we, when we start doing these things, people go like, wait a minute, ah, I don't understand what you're saying. Because, mm. you know, imagine all these years being taught something or learning something, mm -hmm. just like myself, mm -hmm. and then it changes in one day. My God. They are what? Celestial, Celestial bodies. bodies. Now, these are what is called, it's called Epraneus. I'm just reading here. Celestial is the word Epraneus. Oh, yes. Epraneus, let me just read from the uh, Greek concordance, which is Strong's. Mm. All right? Mm -hmm. It means existence in the heavenlies. Wow. Let me read it again. They are bodies that exist in the heavenlies. Oh but notice, I just dealt with celestial. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here is with the word bodies. It is the word soma. Mm. It means a dead body or a corpse. Mm. Or a living body of animals, of humans. Mm. He's already telling you yes. that they are aliens somewhere. They might not be in a Spielberg movie, but worse than Spielberg. I know, how do I know? Mm. I know on the throne of God there were creatures that have got, they are creatures that see in all directions. Mm. Oh, yes. mm. the eyes, mm. they move with wheels. Mm. The orphan him. Often. Yes. They don't even check where they are going. Mm. They don't need to turn when they leave. No. Mm. And the spirit of God is inside them. Inside. Mm. In the wheels. Wow. Oh, yes. mm. <laughs> now. Now he says here, don't worry about as for the bodies. Mm -hmm. They are. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're getting this. Yes, sir. Getting it, sir. So, so is used in the number for men closely united in one society family. Um, that is cast a shadow to distinguish the shadow itself or body, or bodily, literally, or figuratively, or a dead body, both of men or a women, living body, animals, both of men or of women. Mm -hmm. If we get to this now. We have a problem because mm. we have another scripture oh, yeah. that will show you something. Mm -hmm. I want you to see something. Genesis 2, 4, and I'm coming back to that, mm. to the stars, to the stars that were. Genesis 2, verse number 4. Marie de Zekla ar takiru These are the generations of the heavens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. The way you said, uh-huh, <laughs> you missed something. If ge heaven has got generations. Oh, yes. it's a family. <laughs> oh, my God. No, it did not say of heaven. Of the heavens. Generations. 
Now you say, oh, no, you don't understand. Yeah. Let's keep going. Mm -hmm. And then of the earth. Mm -hmm. So if we have earthly generations, we know what generations are on earth. Mm -hmm. Why do we have generations in heaven? Mm -hmm. Like an angel gave birth to another angel and then another angel. I'm not saying that's what happened. I'm just trying to show you. Oh, yes. That's what the Bible says. When we go back to heaven, we are neither to be given in marriage. Mm -hmm. If you are not married, get married now. <laughs> now. <laughs> not to be given in marriage. For we will not be what? Mm. Married yes. in heaven. Oh, yes. mm. But that scripture has got a, a connotation that what if you were married here on earth already? Mm -hmm. So you will not be given in marriage. I don't know if you're getting this. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The children, and Jesus answering said unto them, the children of this world marry and are given in marriage. But the Bible also says what? But when we shall go up there, mm. but they will shall be counted up with it to obtain the world and the resurrection of the dead, neither marry nor are given in marriage. Mm. Oh. I don't know if you're getting this. Right. Let's go. Neither can they die anymore. For they are equal unto angels and are the children of God, being the children of resurrection. Well, wait a minute. Did you notice there that those who are married are not spoken of? I know you didn't get it. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to talk about nothing for now. Let's oh, yes. continue with the subject we're dealing with. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> teach us. Teach us. Wow. It doesn't say if you are married, what will happen there? He just says, you're not going to marry. Uh, I'm already having mine. Yes. Mm. So why do I need to marry anywhere? Anyway. You, you mm. get it. You know, the, the, the sin of commissioning and the sin of omission. Mm. Oh, yes. You commission what God did not say and you omit what God mm. said. <laughs> wow. So, so <laughs> now understand, it, it's not talking about people who are married here. Mm -hmm. It's not about people who are not married. Yes. Yes. You will not marry. Mm -hmm. And nobody's going to bring a wife to you. You will continue like we will continue on this subject. <laughs> I don't know if you are getting this. <laughs> now, if they are heavenly generations, mm -hmm. it's actually telling us that their body is there. But what about the state of the heavenly? These stars. Remember I said, it might actually be that there is a truth in the assertion that Mm -hmm. Angels are third, but not based on that scripture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're getting this. Mm -hmm. They're getting it. Are we still smiling? Are we still friends? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Just imagine all of a sudden you hear there is a body, a soma. Mm -hmm. a, a body, a soma. So we can say, that's a body. Mm -hmm. Human flesh. Oh, yes. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Bring it, bring Let me show you something. Mm. Hebrews 10, Hebrews 10, verse number 4. I want to show you something. Mm. Hebrews 10, verse number 4. All these are not part of the, my, my thing that I wanted to bring to you. These are things coming. Mm. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and of gods should take away sins. Mm. That's not a problem. Amen. Notice here. Mm. Jesus knowing that he is a body that is beyond. Mm. That is what? Celestial. Celestial. Mm -hmm. He says here, wherefore when he came into the world, Jesus, he said, sacrifice an offering that would just not. But you prepared a body, a soma. Huh. You gave me a body to be able to fit on the, in the earth. Oh, yes. But I had my own celestial one. Ah, mm. oh, man, he didn't, he like didn't get it. He didn't get it. He, he took it off. Mm. That's what the Bible says. He emptied himself. And took on the form of a servant. The moment he took on this body, mm. he could not appear to many people. Oh, yes. After resurrection, what happened? The Bible says he appeared to about yes. 500 people oh, all yes. at once mm. in one go. Wow. Mm. What was he using? Another body. Another body. But <laughs> notice when he got there, he mm. said, I'm not a spirit. Huh? Mm. For flesh and blood. Mm. <laughs> Touch my, bled, my, my, my body. Mm. You, see, you see my wounds where I bled. Mm. Touch it, touch it. Mm. He's trying to show them I'm walking through walls using flesh. Mm. <laughs> wow. I don't know if you're getting what I'm yeah, trying to say. Some people are not really. Yes, uh, 
You're taking your time. You're taking wow. your time, but you get it. See, 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 a sacrifice did I not look for. Mm. But what? A body you prepared for me. <laughs> what kind of a body? What kind of a body is this? <laughs> the one that is here from this world. Hey. He left the celestial mm -hmm. and took on the one here. Mm. Hope you are getting it. Hope you are getting it. And I, I expect you to be getting it. I want you to see these, these, these stars mm -hmm. in the heavenlies. Mm. Uh, Psalm 19, verse number 1. Mm. Psalm 19, verse number 1. Paretalisco on crevitaskus. Psalms 19, verse number 1. The heavens declare the glory of God. Mm. Wait a minute. What do you mean? Hmm. Mm. I want to show you something. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Let's go, sir. Mm. Bring it, bring it. Yes. Mm. Yes, yes. This is I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm is, trying this to. This is just too much. This is just too much and amazing from our father, Prophet Gibber Angel, the prophet to Christianity. When we say he is the man given the mandate to mm -hmm. run mm -hmm. with this last dispensation, it's not only about prophecy, never, mm -hmm. but also about the teaching which is timed by the heavenlies oh, yes. for this particular season. Mm -hmm. That is why you see our father touching this subject. These are strange subjects mm -hmm. that you cannot just dive in oh, yes. unless there is an inspiration of the Holy Ghost. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. And you are actually given by God the mandate mm -hmm. to tell it to Amen. the church of God. Amen. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Praise the Lord. And the heaven declare the glory of God and the permanent showeth his handiwork. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Day unto day, mm -hmm. they utter speech. Mm. Wow. Wait a minute. <laughs> so you mean Jupiter talks? Whoa. Oh, wow. Actually, it's a mouth. <laughs> they speak in every day. Wow. No, no, no. I don't know if you're getting this. Whoa. And at night, they prove they have knowledge. This is the book of Psalms, 19, verse number 2. Now, I don't know if you are getting this. All you do is you look into the sky and see stars and see stars. The Bible says they have speech. Mm. Actually talking. Mm. Is, there is no speech. Mm. There, there is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Mm. What? Mm. <laughs> verse number two. Go verse number two. My league has some great tangles. Day after day, mm -hmm. they utter speech. Oh, every day. So, no wonder the devil drew part of them, mm. not the angels. I know you're getting what I'm trying to say. Mm. Yes, day after day, they utter speech, and night unto night, they show knowledge. They prove they understand. Mm. You, mean, you mean all these things are understanding? Yes, yes. sir. Yes, ma'am, they have understanding. Wow. We're going to go to another one, to another killer in a few minutes. Wow. You, you will not die, don't worry. <laughs> there is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone through all the earth, and their words, huh? To the end of the world, in them he has set a tabernacle for the sun. Oh, wait a minute. That means all these that are surrounding the sun, they are a tabernacle. Mm. They are a dressing for the sun. For the sun. Mm. <laughs> wow. Which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoices as a strong man to run a race. Mm. They are only race. Mm. My God. This is why God says you should not, mm. hear me well, mm. you should not follow the zodiac. Because he knows these things think they talk. Mm. 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 Uh, I don't know if you understand. Bring it, sir. Bring yes, it, sir. bring it, bring it. Mm. Huh. His going forth is from the end of the earth. He's talking about the sun here. Yes. Mm. And the second where he moves unto the ends of it. And there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. In other words, the heat of the sun sees. Whoa. It is eyes, uh, uh, and you, you can't hide. You can't hide. Mm. Wow. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to keep going on this one. <laughs> so let's go to Deuteronomy 4, verse number 19. Deuteronomy 4, verse number 19. Hallelujah, the convert, kid as a kid with offering his ass. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. And lest thou lift up thy eyes. Let's go to 18. I want you to see something. I want you to see something. Amen. 
the likeness of anything that creepeth on the ground, the likeness of any fish that is the waters beneath the earth, unless you lift your eyes unto the heaven. Mm -hmm. And when you see the sun, hear this now, mm -hmm. the moon and the stars, does it mean angels? Mm -hmm. No. The planets, yes. the stars. Mm -hmm. Even all the hosts of heaven, mm -hmm. you should be driven to worship them and serve them. Mm -hmm. says if you keep looking at them, there is a force coming from them that you might actually worship them. Mm -hmm. What are these things that can draw men to worship? Mm -hmm. Are they really planets we see up there? Says so he created everything for his pleasure. Do you understand what it means? Mm. But that means if you and I, Pastor Felix, want mm. to have pleasure, yes. we go all day, we play whatever favorite game we like, mm -hmm. or watch a movie, or I, I don't know what we, we, we can do. Yes. Um, or we build buildings. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we, or we go look at buildings, we enjoy ourselves in that. Mm. Or we play football or tennis. If you watch me playing football, it's like I'm flying. <laughs> it's a very, very bad side. You don't want to see it. And now, that's why I hate football. Mm -hmm. You see, most people call out, tell us who's going to win. Tell us. And then you argue after I tell you. Mm -hmm. Prophets for us, oh, yes. listen to this. Prophets for us is to lure people to walk through those doors. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. It's not to show the world that we can do it. Mm -hmm. We've shown a lot we can do it. Yes. We've done it in front of 7,000 people, yes. in front of 20,000 people. Mm -hmm. For example, I always remove, um, uh, let's say football uh, uh, re re results. I pull them off. Why? Simple. I do the, remember what we have with two services yes. here? Oh, yes. We cut the international service. We deal with the people that are in the room. Yes. And which are thousands of people. That's a 7,000 seat at this, oh, yes. this place. Mm -hmm. and, and we start talking to them about what is going to happen in football. Oh, yes. mm. But that's not what we're doing. Mm. That's all we're doing. Amen. We are trying to get the person to walk in, sit down, and hear what we're talking about. Oh, yes. We've already proven to them. Oh, yes. Except, uh, of course, the, a few other times when, when we did it live, uh, like the World Cup. The World, the World, World Cup, Cup, I'd already told the, uh, the, media. the media team yes. to cut the broadcast, and they said, yeah, we did, and they had not done it. Mm. That, that's all. And then... We announced it mm. in the middle of the service. Mm. That, that's, that was it. Uh, but any, anything else? I want you to be in the church or be a partner around the world. When we are doing our partnership yes. and we are broadcasting around the world, mm -hmm. do you see that Zoom? Yes. It's only for paid partners, Amen. people who actually make this thing work. Mm. Those people are allowed in the, in the broadcast when I'm doing these prophecies. Oh, yes. Yes. And I'm not doing it for somebody in um, in um, Checheche or, or, or Ikeja or, or some other place. Mm, yes. No, 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 no. I'm just doing it for the people that know who we are, yes. understand God speaks, want to know God speaks, and want to be part and parcel of this. Oh, that yes. means become a partner, um, uh, be there physically. If you yes. can't, definitely become a partner. Most, yes. most people ask me, how do I go on Zoom? How do I get, do I get access to Zoom? Yes. to Zoom? What do I do? Just be a partner. Be a partner. We, have to, we have to appreciate the people who are actually doing something. Mm. And unfortunately, prophecy is one of the things we appreciate them with. Mm. Amen. Amen. Now hear this. Oh, yes. Hear this. Now, we we're talking about, um, about the pleasure. The pleasure. Mm. We want, we want pleasure. If we want pleasure, what do we do? Oh, yes. Mm. Football. Mm. Let's say cricket. Mm -hmm. yes. My fellow guys there, uh, cricket. I went, I went for cricket just a few weeks back, mm. our prophetess was in another country, and mm. I, I was taken by a um, uh, political part, big wig, <laughs> and they said, come, and we meet there, and you know, I just said, oh, I'm coming there, let's go. Mm. And I went there, they said, we're gonna go to the VVVV, I did not know that there was a VVVVVIP, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so we got there, yeah, I don't mm. like cricket. Mm. I went there, I started liking cricket. Yes. Uh, you understand that? Uh? Mm -hmm. yes. and, and it was like, wow. I started taking pictures, photos, sending to properties, and just like, look at this, look at this. And I was like, you know what? I don't like football, but I might like this thing. Oh, yes. You know, I didn't know what was happening there. They throw and then run around. I, I never asked nobody, you know? And they called them, I think, the wickets or something. Oh, yes. Yeah, I don't want anything with wicked inside, mm. you know? <laughs> nah, so, so, 
So, but but I appreciated it, you know, more than that thing, you know, that mm -hmm. they call football. I, mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. But but notice that was for the pleasure of Uber Angel and the team I went with there. But hear me well. The Bible says, and God created the planets for his pleasure. His pleasure. Mm -hmm. Thou art with, O Lord, Revelation 4.11, mm -hmm. uh, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things for your pleasure. Mm -hmm. They are and were created. Mm -hmm. wow. When God wanted pleasure, mm -hmm. he created planets. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. When we want pleasure, we play cricket. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. Yes, yes, yes. Imagine God wants pleasure. He plays with the Milky Way. <laughs> Do you understand this? He says he created them for his pleasure, for entertainment. Mm -hmm. You watch a movie. He's watching planets move around. And, and notice here, and the Bible says, the, uni, you know, the, the, the scientific world says, the universe is constantly expanding. Mm -hmm. God is increasing his pleasure. Oh, yes. Wow. Mm. Wow. Wow. I'll tell you this. Jesus just doesn't have time to tell you that Adam is not the first person to be created by God. Mm. My God. But we will come back to that another time. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I get it. I get it. Please don't argue. We will come back with that another time. All right. <laughs> let's, go, let's go to 2 Peter. 2 Peter 3, 2 Peter 3, and I'll start from verse number 1 so that you guys can catch it, so you understand it. 2 Peter 3. It's brilliant. Marutagis karadushke and frodigas. This Lord. second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you in both which I stay you up your minds by the way of remembrance. You know when Peter wrote First Peter, he had not caught the revelation of Paul yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can even hear Peter talking about things which are so difficult. Mm -hmm. Ah which are written by Apostle Paul, oh, yes. which are so difficult to understand. Mm. Do you understand? Even him, he knew this is difficult. Oh, yes. <laughs> These ones are bones. Mm. Mm. These are bones. Mm -hmm. He knew it because Paul was dangerous. He had a play of words mm. and he would get in there and get in the spirit. He journeyed in the spiritual realm, mm. fraternized with divinity. Hey. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> See, when the generations are coming and saying that the generation, these are the generations of the earth, mm -hmm. these are the generations of the heavens. Yes. Notice when the angel came, he said, do not kneel before me, for I am of your, what? Your brother's the prophet. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. A fellow servant mm -hmm. in, the time, in, the, in the same family line yes. mm -hmm. with the prophets. <laughs> no, 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 he didn't hear that. He didn't hear that. Mm -hmm. What? Listen to me carefully. Oh, yes. What causes a man what level of fraternizing with divinity would you have reached for angels to call you brother? Hey. Just imagine Michael gets to your house right now as you're watching me right now, hey. and he says, wait here, my sister. Hey. Wow. Do you understand these people would run? Would, every time an angel appeared, he said, fear not. Now this one said, I don't, don't worry. Hey. I'm of your brethren. Hey. I don't know if you're getting this. Oh, yes, yes. Yes. You have a certain level mm. of a civilization yes. that you have known is in and out. The modalities of operating in the spiritual realm in order, as I said, to fraternize with divinity. Mm. Are you hearing? Yes. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. This is really amazing. This is really amazing. Uh, the book of 2 Peter, chapter number 3, verse number 1, again. Oh, yes. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. Mm. Mm. Verse number two, that ye may be mindful of the way. But notice what he says. Mm. He says by way of remembrance. That means mm. I know I'm stirring up your mind to remember what you already know. Mm. 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 That you may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. mm. Verse number three. Knowing this first, that they shall come in the last day, scoffers, walking after their own lusts, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were 
from the beginning of the creation. Mm. Mm. Verse number five. For this they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of God. Well, let's go to three again. Let's go to three. Mm. I want you to, to, to kind of listen. Okay. Mm. Mm-hmm. Verse three again. Knowing these firsts that they shall come in the last days, yes. scoffers, mm-hmm. walking after their own lusts. Mm-hmm. Mm. Verse number four. Mm-hmm. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Now hear me well. Mm-hmm. Verse number three. I want you to see it. Mm-hmm. Knowing this first. Mm-hmm. Notice what he said. Mm-hmm. You've got to know this. This is in order now. Yes. It's not topical. Mm-hmm. We are putting it in order. Mm-hmm. They shall come in the last days. Scoffers. Mm-hmm. People who laugh at others. Oh, yes. <laughs> the days of visitation are here, oh, yes. and the vis- days of visitation are coming. Mm-hmm. The prophet shall be seen as a fool, mm-hmm. and the spiritual man as a madman. Mm-hmm. By what? By scoffers. scoffers. Walking after their own lust. If mm-hmm. you look at the preachers around the world now, yes. mm-hmm. what are they doing? Mm-hmm. Opposing other people who are moving in power. Mm-hmm. What is happening with them? Mm-hmm. They are scoffers. Yet there is no ministry to correct anyone. Yes. Mm. It's not there in the Bible. It's not there in the Bible. There's, there's never a ministry like that. Oh, yes. It's not there. Yes. It's never written. Where did they get it? Just from their own <laughs> egos. <laughs> and saying, where is the promise of his coming? Mm. For since the fathers fell asleep, mm-hmm. all things continue the way they were from the beginning of creation. Mm-hmm. Never changes. Mm. You, should, you should look down the comments section, when, when we talk about the end of the world, there are people saying, no, but it's been like that for over 200 years. This Jesus, is he coming? The Bible says they are scoffers. Mm. Wow. When, when, I, when I get a sense of somebody asking that question, mm-hmm. I go like, oh, maybe this is a Christian who got a scoffer asking them. Huh. Mm. Now, I definitely know why they're doing it. They got a scoffer that they want to go and answer. And the ad's turning it, notice here now. Please notice. This is very important. Yes. Mm-hmm. What did they say? This is very important. Yes. Very important. Yes. This is Genesis 1, verse number 1 and 2. Don't, don't go there, but you already know in the beginning God created heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness covered the face of the deep. We definitely know there is chaos that happened between verse number 1 and verse number 2. If you don't know about this subject, Watch my message called Before Adam. It's on both channels, You Better Angel and You Better Angel Plus. Yes. For this they willingly are ignorant of that the word of God, the heavens, plural. Mm. Oh my God, I, I know you are not getting this. Yeah. The heavens which were of old. Mm-hmm. The heavens. The what? The heavens. The heavens which were of what? Of what? So that means if we are talking about, we are talking about the what? The old what? Heavens. Mm. Is somebody listening? We are talking about what? The old old heavens. The old heavens. Mm. So it's talking about the old heavens. Mm. The heavens that were of old. Mm. The old what? Heavens. Heavens. The heavens that were of what? Of old. Are we getting this? We're getting it, sir. We're getting it. Somebody's getting it. Somebody's getting it. Mm. Somebody's getting it. Sure, we're getting it. The heavens that were off, old. old. The heavens that were off, old. old. The heavens that were off, old. old. Mm. Here, let me read it in the uh, normal language. For this they willingly are ignorant. Wait a minute. That means you should be knowing this. Mm. But you're willing to be ignorant. Mm. The clerk said, This is common knowledge. knowledge. But this one says, For this, they are willing willing to be ignorant Mm. that the word of God, the all the heavens and the earth stood out of the water and in the water. Mm. No way. You you see, uh, ladies and gentlemen, did you even hear what I'm trying to say here? When in the book of Genesis did you see the heavens underwater? Mm. Mm. See, see what, see, they, they, 
Huh? We are in five, verse number five. <laughs> For this they willingly are ignorant mm -hmm. that by the word of God the heavens of old and the earth mm. stood out of the water and in the water mm. by the flood. And the funny part of it, this is a very important chapter that if you're talking about the flood, you should at least mention Noah. Yes. Mm. Oh, yes. But if you mention Noah, we have a problem with you because you're talking about something that never happened in the time of Noah, that the heavens were in water. Mm. So this is not a global flood. This is a universal flood. Oh, my God. <laughs> nah, I know you're not getting this. Are you getting this? Are you getting this? Yes, you're getting it, sir. Mm. Mm. For this they willingly are ignorant mm. that the heavens at one time were underwater. Oh, yes. <laughs> so we're not talking about, about the, the, uh, the flood of Noah here. Yes. We're talking about a flood that was universal. The flood of Noah was global. Oh, yes. Mm. This one is universal. This one is universal. Wow. Mm. Wow. Jesus. Uh -huh. Now here you go, yes. here you go, here you go in verse number six. Oh my God. Whereby the world that then was. Mm -hmm. So there was another world, was another world. before which this world. <laughs> the world which existed. Mm. Being overflowed with water, perished. This one ended. Huh? Not the one we have now, yeah. that God lowered the water. Yes. No. Okay, these, these people are missing it. <laughs> are you hearing it? Are you getting this? This one perish, the one Peter is talking about, is mm. not the flood of Noah. Mm. Mm. It's a different it did not say the water perish. No. Mm. <laughs> it is the world that the world. was overflowed by water that it finished. Oh. Mm. Mm. But the heavens and the earth which are now, mm. by the same way, are kept in store. Mm. Ah. Reserved unto fire. Hey. Again, is the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Mm. Now, they, they, they're missing this. They're missing this. Yeah. That means we are talking now that, that this thing, when you hear people talking about climate change, mm -hmm. the Bible is telling you climate change cannot start now. Mm. Ah. Oh. Mm. It's a prophetic word that is telling us when it will really start. When God is about to bend this element, I don't know if they're getting this. I want you to go to 2 Peter, 2 Peter 3, verse number 9 and 10, so that you see that. 2 Peter, um, chapter number 3, uh, verse 9 and 10. The Lord is not slack concerning the promise, as some men count slackness, but he is long-suffering to us, what? not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to what? To repentance. Verse number 10. Mm. But the day of the Lord will what? Will oh, come oh, as a thief in the night, yes. in the which the heavens mm. Mm. <laughs> shall pass away with a great noise. With, with what again? With what? And what shall happen? And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. We read that before. Mm. I think yes. we... Yes. Let's go back to the scriptures, mm. the scripture where before we got, came here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I don't know if they're getting this. Mm. Are you flowing? Oh, yeah. yes. ah, whereby the world that was being overflowed with water perished, verse number seven. Verse number seven. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept what? Reserved fire by fire. Mm -hmm. And verse number 10 the elements mm -hmm. shall melt with fervent heat mm -hmm. when he comes, yes. and the earth also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the works that are therein shall be burned up. So the eon and the cosmos will all burn mm. with fire. Mm. Cleansed. Mm. So he's saying this world we are in. Meaning that there was another world that There's ended. No world. There was an old one. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is the reason, uh, Pastor Felix, where mm. uh, the Bible says, and uh, multiply and refill the earth. That mm. means another one again came mm. and it got emptied. Mm. That's why you need mm. to refill. That's why we need to refill. Mm. Mm. Replenish, Replenish the earth. Refill. This is the reason why God puts a rainbow and says, I will not destroy the 
earth again with water. If you look at the language of the, the Hebrew text there, it, it is a play of words that denote that God was used to destroying things by water. It wasn't his first time. Wow. Just a few days ago, some people came here to make noise. Uh, they just, it was a funny thing, and it escalated into some, so we had the, the, uh, the authorities, and, and we had the, uh, the people that are security and, and provide mm -hmm. all this intelligence. Mm -hmm. They were there. They just grabbed one guy, uh, and that was making noise. And the next minute is we saw him fall flat. <laughs> <laughs> and he was just saying, that, oh, I've fallen. <laughs> but I looked up, and everyone looked up, and there was a rainbow. Yes. <laughs> True, yes. Yes. <laughs> nah. Immediately, I think the Lord spoke right there. <laughs> this should not happen again. <laughs> now, understand, the rainbow is only given for the sake to say, we have stopped doing this job that we used to do. Yes. Mm. Mm. Wow. Oh. Mm. I want to I want to show you something because hey, some people are not getting it. Mm. We're getting it, sir. We're getting it. Mm. Are you getting this? We're getting it. We're getting it. Yeah. We're getting it. Uh, leja kabaros ke geto sharagada baruta. Ay, I want you, I want you to understand this. Hmm. 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 Are you getting this? Yes, sir. Mm. Oh. Mm. This mm. is just too deep. Wow. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this is just too deep. So now, are you getting this? Yes, yes sir. sir. If we're going to look at it, we have the old earth, we have the Noah's earth, mm -hmm. then we have the current earth. And the current earth, if we look at that's what comes Genesis 1, verse number 3, and then uh, Revelation 21, verse number 1. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you are getting this. Getting Revelation getting 21, it. verse number 1. Mm -hmm. And I saw a new heaven mm -hmm. and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. Mm -hmm. Verse number 2. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. Amen. Amen. Notice, mm. so I've, I saw a great heaven, mm. right? Are you getting this? Yes, sir. I saw in heaven, and I just saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down. Mm. Now we have a new what? A new earth coming in. This is a new earth we are in. Yes. We are going to come to now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a certain revamping of that system. Yes. So we know the reason. But I wanted to go to, to the book of Isaiah 34, verse number 11. But the com comorant mm -hmm. and the beaten shall possess it, the owl also, and the raven shall dwell in it, mm -hmm. and it shall stretch out upon the line of confusion and the stones of emptiness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They shall call the nobles thereof in the kingdom, but none shall be there, and all the princes shall be nothing. That's mm -hmm. when we are talking about the tohu wa mm -hmm. when there is emptiness. Yes. Yes. Are you getting this? Yes. Yes. All right. Let's go to Jeremiah 4, verse number 23. You get it. Jeremiah 4, verse number 23. I beheld the earth, and lo, it was tohu wa bohu. Without form and void, and the heavens, and they had no light. The man is talking about something that he saw. I beheld the mountains, and Lord, they trembled, and all the hills moved lightly. He's not talking about the new heaven that he was, he's prophesying what happened in Genesis 1, verse number 1 and 2. Nah, nah, nah. Genesis 1, verse number 1 and 2. Maybe some people want to hear it because it's taking time. I saw the heaven and it was tohu wa bohu. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the heaven was tohu wa bohu. Mm. 
and the earth was tohu wa bohu, without form and void. Mm -hmm. Then Jeremiah says, and I saw it. Let's go, Jeremiah. Oh. We dealt with it a few minutes ago. Mm. Mm. Jeremiah 4, 23. Uh -huh. I beheld mm. the earth, mm -hmm. and lo, it was tohu wa bohu. There is no place anywhere in the scripture where the earth was like this. Except, Except in Genesis, Genesis chapter number one, verse number two. Oh, amen. This is at the two parts mm. where it appears, you know, with Isaiah and then with Genesis. This is the two parts. Oh, yes. We have a certain kind of without form in one, void in one, mm. and then this one too. So Gen Jeremiah 4 mm. and Genesis 1 are the ones where you see without form and void. And void. This one is a prophecy. Oh, yes. Now hear what it was, like, what, what, what was happening. And he says, I saw the heavens, and they had no light. What yes. had happened? Mm. Universal flood. There was water. Mm. And behold, the mountains. He says, they were standing out of the water and in the water. Mm. God, God. Mm. Behold, the mountains, and Lord, they trembled. Mm. Wait a minute. Mm. They were trembling. When did they tremble? Mm. The flood of Noah. We don't hear of this trembling. Mm -hmm. And all the hills moved lightly. Mm. Mm. And I behold, Lord, there was no man. And all the birds of the heavens were fled. Wait a minute. They were there. Mm. <laughs> and there were men. Mm -hmm. yes. Some were dying and some were in the ark. Yes. But in this one, when he saw it, mm. behold, Lord, the fruitful place was a wilderness. And all the city thereof were broken down by at the presence of the Lord mm. and by his fierce anger. Mm. What is he talking about? He's talking about a universal flood. Oh, yes. Mm. Universal flood, not the global one. Ah, no, no, no. Go to 26. Says, For that says the Lord, uh, behold, in the fruitful place. Verse 27. Watch this. Watch this. For that says the Lord, said the whole land shall be desolate, yet will I not have make a full end. That's why he left the water. Okay. Mm. Wow. Ah, I wish I could talk to you. Mm. 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 Are you hearing? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Are you getting this? We're getting it, yes, sir. sir. 1 John 5, verse number 6. 1 John 5, verse number 6. I want to show you something. It's important. It's important that you get that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 1 John mm -hmm. 5, verse number 6. Mm -hmm. This is ye that came by water and blood, even Jesus Christ, not by water only, but by water and blood. Mm -hmm. And it is the Spirit that beareth witness, because the spirit is truth. Mm. Verse number seven. Mm -hmm. For yeah, there yes, are, listen to this. Mm -hmm. For there are three that bear record in heaven, uh -huh. the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. Mm. And, and the, these three are what? Are one. Now, the Bible says, I will not make a full end. Because mm -hmm. when you do that, people say, oh, the Noah. But they, they, Jeremiah said there were no men. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he needs to leave so a substance yes. that would be possible for him to make a man. Mm. <laughs> Hear me well. And he says, there are three that bear record in the heaven. The Father, mm. the Son, mm -hmm. and the Holy Spirit. Yes. Verse number eight. Mm. Hear this. Verse number eight. I want to show you something. Amen. Mm. Amen. In, in, in verse number seven, we have heard that the Father the Son, mm. and the Holy Spirit, yes. right? Yes. That's yes. heaven. Yes. But on earth, we have what? Mm. Here it is. There are three that bear witness in the earth, the Holy Spirit. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in heaven, Father, Son, Son. Holy, Ghost. Holy Ghost. But when it comes to earth, Father, Son are not operating. The Holy Spirit is operating. Mm. Mm. Now, According to this scripture, yes. as a witness. Yes. Yes. Now we have the Spirit, the water, and the blood. Mm. <laughs> because we are still trying to figure out when he said he left a certain marker. Yes. When he said he left a marker, oh, yes. something, yes. something that will not be a full end. Oh, yes. That can generate life. What was it when you look in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the Spirit of God was moving upon the face of the water. So we know there is a product called water. Now, when we get to heaven, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. are witnesses. Oh, yes. mm. When we get to the earth, yes. spirit, mm. water. Water. water, and blood, blood. 
Now, so we know the Holy Ghost. We already know he came from heaven Amen. to be a witness on earth oh, yes. because he is the power generating source of God. Mm -hmm. Now, the water now is the one he left. Mm -hmm. ah. but, but wait a minute. Mm. Do you realize, and I repeat this for those who know this, mm. and for those who don't know me and have never heard me preach on this, mm. a man, a human being is made of over 70% water. Yes. Mm. Oh, yes. Very yes, true. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. And also blood. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. yes. Uh, but, but, but blood is transfused. Mm. That's why we can catch your father through your blood. Because oh, yes. it's not your blood. Mm. Mm. Maybe they missed it. Mm. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> and you are 70% water. water. Mm. And maybe 78% of it mm. is, what, is, is blood. Oh, yes. Now, that means the three things you see here. Mm. The spirit already present. Oh, yes. Water. That makes you, the majority of you, yes. all of you, you are literally just water. Let me just say it. You are literally just water. water. Yes. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. That means you're the ancient of days. Mm. No, 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 no. Because the thing that you are made up of mm. was in Genesis and the spirit hovered on top of it. It was water. Mm. Ah. So you, you are not new here. Ah. You've been there. Because the product that made you mm. was there in Genesis. Oh, yes. Because you have no new water. Water evaporates and rains again. Oh, yes. Blood is moved from your father to your another one to another one. It keeps on going. Oh. Mm. From one clot of blood he made wow. the human race. Wow. Mm. From a clot of blood. Yes, he made the human race. Mm. It's not new blood. The water is it's not new blood. Mm. It came from God. And the water, if you notice in the book of Acts, it says, Jesus on the cross mm -hmm. delivered us, mm -hmm. saved us by his own blood. God. Wait a minute. God, it says God who saved us by his own blood. We did not see God on the throne. We, on the cross, we saw Jesus. Oh, so yes. Jesus is God. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> so that same blood is the one he used way back. Way back. Mm -hmm. And gave to us. Wow. For Christ was crucified before the foundation of the world. So yes. now he has given us the same blood. And that means same water that was in Genesis. Mm -hmm. Same blood. Our blood is not new. Our water is not new. <laughs> so are we new? We are not new. No, we are not, not new. Wow. That's why God said before I formed thee in the womb. I knew thee. Ah. Yeah, it's taking time. <laughs> it's taking time for other people yeah, to get ancient. this. How are you getting this? Yes, <laughs> the book of Amos, chapter number five, verse number eight. Mm. Amos, chapter number five, verse number eight. And I'm about to finish. I'm about to finish. Oh, Just yeah, stay there a little bit. Bring it to mm -hmm. more hours. <laughs> <laughs> Seek him that maketh the seven stars in Orion, mm. Mm -hmm. and turneth the shadow of death into the morning, and maketh the day dark with night, mm. that calleth the waters of the sea, and poured them out. He can talk to the sea. Mm. Wow. The Lord is his name. Mm. Seek him that makes the seven stars in Orion. Mm. And turn the shadow of the death into the morning. If you watch the Nephilim, you realize how I linked the angels that fell to planets and also the Nephilim to planets. Mm -hmm. That the planets were the actual Nephilims that died and transformed again into these things. Oh, yes. You will see how I was using scripture and talking about the Tower of Babel being, becoming gates. Let me explain to you here. The Tower of Babel, if you look at the word tower, it also means get. Mm -hmm. So that means they were gets to a certain world. Mm -hmm. And hear what God says that is really, really, really disturbing. Mm -hmm. yes. They were there to try and go and meet God physically. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And God said, let's disturb their language for the thing that they want to do. Nobody can stop them to achieve it mm -hmm. as long as they have one language. Mm -hmm. So God knew they could actually find him physically. Uh, 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 no, I don't know if you are. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you are. It, it was possible. It was possible. He, he even possible. said, confuse their language now. Mm -hmm. Don't confuse their coming. Genesis 11, let's go. Mm. Are you getting this? Yes, and sir. the whole earth was one of the language and of one speech. Notice there is a difference between one language and of one speech. Mm -hmm. Verse 1. Mm. One language and what? 
and speech. one speech. Yes. There is a distance. Genesis, there is a di difference. Genesis 11, verse number one. I want to show you something because, you know, some people uh, are like, wait a minute, what did you say? I told you, this thing is going to be um, unraveled. As it keeps on going, we move on. As it keeps on going, a lot is happening. Yes. And, and we discover things that we're not discovering before. And do you understand? Yes, sir. Uh, language is the word safa or safet. It means leap, show, bang, the, the, the talk. Are you getting this? Yes, yes sir. And the word there is daba, which is, means the word of God. That word of God is also daba. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. So you have language, right? Are you getting this? Yes, yes sir. You are getting this. Some people are getting this. You're getting, 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 getting it, You're getting it. Mm. I want to show you something because it's important that you get it. Mm. Mm. It's important. So when you get to speech, you're dealing with daba. Mm. It means a word that comes out, a mm. saying or utterance. Mm. Right? Yes. You know, when you have got a, a way you speak mm. your language, you can have the same language, oh, yes. but different ways of talking oh, yes. and different sunesis mm. where we use the same terms. We're agreeing on the same things, mm -hmm. and yet we're using English. Oh. Mm. So, English is the language. The speech part of it is the way we say the things we say, mm. and we mean the things we mean. Mm. Now, I don't know if you're getting this. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. It, is, it denotes a certain construction that is different. Mm. This is they were of one language and of one speech. There was a, a certain agreement mm -hmm. in their way of thinking. Because oh, yes. remember, language mm -hmm. is the source of culture. Yes. Oh, yes. If you lose your language, you lose your culture. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The moment we learned English, we forgot our neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. We forgot our rural areas. Mm -hmm. We thought we had gotten to a certain level. We changed. Right. So whenever somebody wants to change you from your culture, they change your language. Mm -hmm. This is the reason why the Holy Ghost, who is the governor of the kingdom, when he came here, he started giving us tongues. Because mm. he, he needs to change our culture. Uh -huh. mm. uh -huh. mm. ah. He gave us a language. So these people here had one language, one speech. And what happened? Mm. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shina and were there. And they said one to another, go to, let us make brick, not spiritual brick, mm -hmm. and bend them thoroughly. Mm -hmm. And they had brick for stone, and slime had they for mortar. Mm -hmm. And they said, go to, let us build us a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto heaven. Mm -hmm. And let us make us a name, let us we be scattered abroad and upon the face of the whole earth. Mm. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower, which the children of men built it. Mm. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have one language. And this they begin to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Mm. Go, let us go down. And they confound their languages. Go. You, you mean to say God was against building skyscrapers? Mm. Hey. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to figure out. Mm. God was against them building a skyscraper? Mm. Are we sure? That was the issue. Mm. These were called towers. This is why we, we, we have history thinking part of the descendants, or rather uh, the progeny of, um, of, uh, of Nimrod mm -hmm. were the ones that were there being held by the Nephilims mm. to build the towers because the word tower also means a gate. Get. Mm. get into heaven. Mm. Get into something. Oh, yes. Get into another world because mm. there are many heavens. Mm. Mm. I'm by no means saying they were going to the heaven of mm. God. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. But they were going to some place that they called heaven might not be the sky because this is not again a skyscraper. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm. This is the reason why we were given a language back. And it's called tongues. Mm. Uh. That when you speak in tongues, nothing will be restrained. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. I don't know if you're getting this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So the language they lost in the book of Genesis, we got it in the book of Acts. Oh. We got it back in the book of Acts. Oh, yes. So, so if we are unstoppable, as long as we say as a church, we are speaking in tongues. Yes. Every one o'clock, fire tongues. Mm, do it. Mm. Wow. I'm going to announce, one day I'm going to announce a language fasting. Oh, yes. Mm. Oh, yes. We would know from 12 to 1, mm -hmm. even if somebody says, hi, you go la costa, bra. Mm. 
<laughs> you don't talk to them in English. Yes. No. You don't. Just a language fasting. Oh, yes. Yes. Because whatever we decide, yes. we want to achieve. Oh, yes. Nothing will stop us. Nothing will stop us. Anyway, anyway. I think they're getting this, right? Yes. They're getting this. Yes. Yes. They're, yes. they're getting this. They're getting this. So I want you to go to Deuteronomy 4, verse number 19 again. Deuteronomy 4, verse number 19 again. And we're about to finish. We're about to finish. Mm. 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 Unless thou lift up thy eyes and unto the heaven, and thou seest the sun and the moon and the stars, even the horse of the heaven, shouldest be driven to worship them. That means they can drive you to do that and save them. Mm. Mm. Save them. Mm. Do you know the word save them? It means they can actually be sending you. Oh. No, no, you can't just say, I saved that guy. Mm. Has he ever sent you? No. I'm saving him. Where? Mm. It says you would be able to save them. Mm. Genesis 2, verse number. Um, <laughs> when you go Genesis, you know, Deuteronomy 33, verse number 1 and 2, up to 5. 1 and 2 to 5. When you do Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 33. Mm. And this is something I want you to see. Oh, yes. This is the blessing wherewith the Moses, the man of God, blessed the children of Israel before his death. Are you there? Oh, yes. It's happening. Mm. And he said, the Lord came from Sinai and rose from Seah unto them. He shined forth from Mount Paran. That's a mountain in Palestine. Mm. Huh. And he came with 10,000 of spiritual beings. My God. Huh? Mm. From a mountain here. Mm. In Paran. <laughs> <laughs> And on his right hand, and where? On his right hand went a fiery law for them. Yes. Mm. He, hey, he loved the people. All his saints are in his right hand, mm. in your hand. They sit down at thy feet. Everyone shall receive of thy words. Let's go now. Mm -hmm. Moses commanded us a law. Do you see they, they mix, it's mixed up. You don't know what they're saying. Yes. Even the inheritance of the congregation of Jacob. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. He came from a mountain with 10,000 of spiritual beings. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no, no. Verse number four, I want you to see something that the preachers will not agree with you, but I tell you now. Uh, Moses commanded us a law. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. There were 10,000 spiritual beings. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. And Moses commanded us a law. <laughs> Are you getting this or you're, you're losing it? You're getting it Somebody's getting it. Somebody's getting it. Moses commanded what? Commanded us a law. Uh -huh. mm. Even, Even the inheritance the of the congregation of Jacob. Mm -hmm. mm. Now hear this. Hear this. Mm. Who is this one? And he was. Who are we talking about? Moses. Moses. The king of Jeshurun. <laughs> and the word Jeshurun means the upright ones. Mm. Oh. So Moses was a king oh. of another country of spiritual beings. Wow. <laughs> no, you didn't hear me. Uh, My God. He was ruling a country of, of spiritual God. beings. Wow. <laughs> mm. <laughs> My God. Uh, as well, the, the Bible says, <laughs> greater are those that are with us. In other words, the prophet was saying, open your eyes and look, mm. and you shall see. Oh, yes. And the young man opened his eyes. Listen to this. The young man, the prophet said, the young man opened his eyes and said, between them stood chariots of spiritual horses and men. They were standing maybe a meter away. Oh, yes. wow. But there were thousands between them. Mm. My God. <laughs> See here. Wow. If I take here and just put, put you inside here, I can fit. You see this, this thing I'm, I'm making here? Oh, yes. I can fit a billion angels inside here. Mm. 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 Wow. But the moment... This materializes into the supernatural, oh, yes. into the unnatural. Yes. You will not be able. This, they can't. Mm. One finger will be bigger than this. Mm. Uh -huh. 
but the natural looks like. You see, in signs, you understand that there are more spaces in this building than the building itself. Mm. <laughs> no, no, they didn't get it. Amen. Amen. That's signs. Yes. And to think of it like, no, but the building is big. They said, but the spaces between it, yes. you know, between these um, objects mm -hmm. will be bigger than this building times, times, times. Mm. Now, notice a man who is a king of a spiritual world. Mm. Mm. Uh, there were two like this standing here, and there were thousands standing in between them. Oh, wow. Now, just imagine I can talk to you. You can have every, these young preachers coming in, and they're starting to go around the world mm -hmm. and talking yes. and having a bad mouth towards seniors. Mm. Mm. Because on YouTube and on your mic, holding a mic like this, the normal person doesn't know the distance in the spiritual realm between mm. preachers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Preachers are not created equal. That's mm. wow. very true. That's wow. too deep. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so, 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 when you see somebody just say, angel, that angel guy, that, see, that, that part, that angel guy, mm. Is a result, not a result of just disrespect. It's a result of lack of spiritual insight oh, yes. mm. into understanding who this man is. Mm. Or oh, that Chris guy. Yes. Mm. Or oh, that Oye Depo. Mm. It's, it's, it's a, it, yes, yes, it's, it's a mental diarrhea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's also demonic mm. because not just demonic in the sense of is the devil causing it. But the mind is not schooled mm. enough to know that in the realm of the spirit, we can even shake hands. Oh, yes. mm. We can have all channels on YouTube, mm -hmm. channels on Facebook. Mm. We can have television stations. Oh, yes. We can have farms and buildings and money. Mm -hmm. But that does not measure spirituality. Mm. In the realm of the spiritual, you might actually be a babe. Oh, yes. mm. Because listen, in the realm of the spirit, God never intended for us to die. Mm -hmm. He never expected us to age. Yes. Oh. Where wrinkles form. Yes. No say, no ma'am. It wasn't like that. Mm. What God measures as being old in the realm of the spirit is the amount of light. Oh, yes. mm. Mm -hmm. Light measures age in the realm of the spirit. Amen. Amen. A person can come for two weeks and become a Christian in two weeks yes. and devour every book, learn God, spend time with God, mm. and you have spent 60 years with Christ. You can be your senior in the realm of the spirit. Wow. You stand in the realm of the spirit like this and ask God, uh, this man came yesterday, he's my young brother, and I put him as my assistant in church. God will say, no, no, that should be actually, you should actually be his assistant. Mm -hmm. You wonder, what are you talking about? Because in the realm of the spirit, light measures age wow. and maturity. Wow. Mm. Wow. The economy of light wow. cool. is what he feeds and distributes <laughs> to the people who are seniors. In the realm of the spirit. That's why the Bible says the entrance of thy word giveth light. Oh, yes. The economy is of the word provides light. You read the word, you invest in the word, oh, yes. and you reap in light. Mm. 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 Invest mm. in the word, you reap in light. In light. For Tizo. <laughs> not, not, not this song, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. No. No. Mm. no, 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 we're not talking about that. Yes. Mm. We're talking about for Tizo. Stadium lights. Oh, yes. Wow. When I say stadium lights, yeah, I'm talking about more than a stadium light, more yes. than stadium lights. Yes. Why? Because we have examples, and this is, this is just an example. Yes. If you want to be senior, it's not just saying, um, I've experienced a lot of things, I had a vision. Mm. No, 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 no. Mm. All those visions might be demonic. Mm. 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 Not everyone demonstrating power is of God. Oh, yes. mm. But where you don't see power, you've seen a person of the devil. <laughs> it's not every time you see power, you have definitely seen a servant of God. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. But I assure you, every time you don't see power, you have seen where the devil is actually nestled. Mm -hmm. He's put his nest. Mm -hmm. And he's feeding some people there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. I want to show you something. Bring it, sir. Bring it, bring it. If you look in the book, 2 Peter 3, verse number 10 again, I want to show you the similarities. Mm. Of what we're talking about when we're talking about a different world mm. that is coming. Mm -hmm. uh, Second Peter chapter number three, verse number ten. Mm. But by the day, or, or but, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Revelation twenty, verse number nine to eleven. As a matter of fact, nine to eleven. Yeah, 
Revelation 20, verse number 9 to 11. And they went out from the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about and beloved in the beloved city. And fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are. They were kept there, burning. Oh. Mm. The, the devil, God said, no, for not for now. You are going to join them later. Mm. And shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found. See, see, fervent heat came. Oh, yes. Second Peter, fervent yes. heat. Yes. Oh, yes. So we know when the heat is coming. Mm. By Revelation 20, we know when the heat is coming. Wow. Oh, yes. we, we know when climate change really comes. Oh, yes. I don't know if you're getting this. We're getting it, sir. We're getting it, sir. So is this climate change because of temperatures? No, no sir. God says it will happen. Mm. Heat, fervent heat. Oh, yes. The elements will melt. Mm. So we know, uh, the people who say climate change is dead, are they telling the truth? No. What they are calling climate change, we are not saying there are no effects. Mm. We are saying what they are calling climate change. Jesus called prophecy. Oh, yes. Mm. Mm. He says it's me causing the heat. Oh, yes. Mm. And they are busy saying, stop this, stop that, use this one, mm. use this. And Jesus said, just pray to me. <laughs> and they are planting trees. They are busy planting trees. Planting a prophecy trees. Like Pastor Felix says, you're fighting prophets with trees. <laughs> Good luck. I don't know if you're getting this. Are they, did they get that? Yes. Are you getting it? Yes. Did they really get it? Yes. Some people, some people got it. Some people got it. I want you to go to Revelation 12, verse number 3 and 4. Quickly because of time. Mm. Quickly because of time. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great dragon, having seven heads and seven horns, and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his head. So when you see star, then you see Revelation chapter number 1, and you see 2, and uh, to the seven angels that are in the seven ages. So we know angels are called, also called what? Stars. stars. But notice the order we had was the third of the heavens. Um, is uh, wiped by uh, the tail of the devil. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we got the devil being chased out of heaven, of heaven. Mm -hmm. with his angels. So we know the angels were not forced by the tail. Mm -hmm. Cast down. They were cast down yes. by God. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like some mistake where the devil is like spinning, going back, <laughs> and then the tail... <laughs> Of course, I get it. It's not literal. Um, but you can understand that it is not the effect of the devil to force it. It was God who said, this ought to go. Oh, yes. mm. But what did they turn into? Mm. Are they planetary representation of the angels that fell? Because remember, I said, there is an argument that is angels. Mm. But the same angels... No, 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 because I, I don't want you to, to kind of, <laughs> do you understand why the devil was created? The devil was created as a savior hmm. to the first pre-Adamic world. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's why he's called Lucifer. Oh, yes. Lucifer means light. Mm. Wow. And Jesus is also light. Wow. Wow. Mm. wow. The devil is not his name, it's a job description. Mm. <laughs> now they didn't get it. They didn't get it. <laughs> Let me just sh show you something. Wow. wow. We've got Mr. Pavo who is saying we might have heard or seen these verses, but some somewhere, but this revelation is something else. Yeah. So <laughs> if you look at Isaiah, Isaiah 14, verse number 12. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Isaiah 14, mm -hmm. verse number 12. Mm. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst, which didst weaken the nations? Now, the word Satan is found 
first in the book of First Chronicles, mm -hmm. uh, 12 and 1, 1. Mm -hmm. then the word devil, Isaiah 14, verse number 2. Uh, and the word devil is Matthew 4, verse number 1. The word Lucifer, Isaiah 14, 2. I don't know if you're getting what I'm trying to say. Yes. I'm trying to show you that these positions, these positions mm -hmm. came in, mm -hmm. but when they came into, into being, they were explaining a job description. The devil means the one who pounds and pounds and pounds until he pierces through. Oh, yes. So you can learn something from the devil. He's very persistent. Mm. <laughs> wow. But the word Lucifer means what? Light. Light. So he was sent down to earth. To another world we read between Genesis 1 and verse number 2. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And he did not do nothing there. Mm -hmm. He got so proud, he said, I will go up and become like the most high. Mm -hmm. Because in those days, knowledge was obtained through trees. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As God said, he knows if you eat, you will fill you with the knowledge. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. So he knew knowledge came through trees. I don't know if you're getting this. Yes, sir. Then the Bible says, but knowledge perfect. Mm. That means the, the intelligence and the wisdom of God mm -hmm. begin to reveal to the creation yes. that if you take natural wisdom, you will be puffed up. Mm. So the devil then was used to taking information from the tree and his intelligence, he was mm. fed from the tree. <laughs> uh, but, 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 but now, mm. God is coming in and saying, I've changed the situation now. Oh, yes. mm. The source of wisdom should be me. Now it is shifted now. So they were dressed in the wisdom of God. They were not naked. Oh, yes. But the information they got removed what they were. Because the spiritual only opens other spiritual eyes. Oh, yes. Mm. My God. But the moment they changed the source of information, and the devil knew they had different information from his. Mm -hmm. He said, take this fruit. Mm. You will see you'll be like gods. <laughs> the moment they opened, they were taken back to the natural. Mm. And all of a sudden they realized, wait a minute, in the natural we are not dressed. Hey. Mm. Wow. I don't know if you're getting what I'm hey, trying to yes. say. That's, oh, yes. That's why God wow. was saying, who told you? Exactly. Yes. Who told the source of information? Because the source of information is from the tree. When the devil realized they're not taking this information from the tree. Mm. He was like, so they have another so thing. What got him angry when he said, I will go up and become like the most high. Mm -hmm. Because he realized when God said, let us make men in our own image, he realized he was not made in God's image. Oh. So he knew the one that was coming, you and I, were going to be superior to him and his oh, cause and yes. got angry. Oh, yes. He said, I'm not created in his image. How come this one that is coming is going to be created in his image? Mm. That means I'm actually celebrating the boss here who yes. actually removed me. And I pray in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Don't let your replacement arrive while you are still alive. Oh, yes. No, they're not getting me. I'm by no means saying die. Yes. I'm saying get to a certain level where even the person who should be your replacement it does not replace you. Amen. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes. Mm. Amen. Mm. Wow. I've created all of you, pastors here, mm. that can do what I do. Everyone. I've yes. created even my biological children. I've created C. I've created yes. Levi. I've created, you know, Seth, Jude. Biologically. Oh, yes. And those are coming hot on my heels. Mm. Mm. Ooh, what's happening? Mm. Those are my replacements. Oh, yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to stand here now. Mm. I'm, I'm journeying in the spirit, yes. looking for new dimensions. Yes. So that when they get to my level, mm. they realize the old man is now in other dimensions now. Oh. Oh. Because yes. I cannot let my replacement be here. Mm. When I've not touched the new dimension. Oh, yes. mm. oh you're not getting me. You, you're not getting me. Getting That's what the Bible wow. says. Ask. It shall be given unto you. And you can only ask what you know. Yes. Mm. There's no question you can ask if you had no idea, prior knowledge of something you want to ask. Wow. <laughs> so ask is a level. It's a dimension where you ask. Mm. Then you go to a seeking level. What is that seeking level? Mm. See, I preached on this. What is, see, what is seeking level? You seek mm. dimensions you don't know. Mm. You just know there is something out there for yes. me. I don't know what it is, but there should be something that nobody has ever seen, nobody has ever in, in introduced me to. Mm. There is something. What, how did we start Miracle Money? It's a seeking level. Mm. We were sitting down thinking, wait a minute. Mm. What miracle has not happened in church? Yes. Mm. 
either in this dimension mm -hmm. or they have not seen it. Oh, yes. They know it can exist, but nobody has ever actually done it the way they should do it. Oh, yes. Or done it, in fact, when we did it, we didn't know anyone was doing it. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, wow. That was the first time. Mm. And we started seeking, seeking for it. Yes. Boom, it came. And it opened waves for the church. Now the church knew. Yes. So, so miracle money is no longer a seeking level dimension. Yes. Why? Because we opened that dimension and brought it to asking level. Oh, yes. mm. Now people are now getting it by asking, not by seeking. Mm. Because I demoted the, the, the dimension of it oh, yes. to an asking level by opening. Wow. wow. Thank you, sir. So, discovered already. Mm. so, so when I discover it, <laughs> we're not talking about the likes of the likes of uh, uh, Livingstone, who went to, to our Victoria Falls, which is the seventh wonder of the world, <laughs> natural wonder of the world here in Zimbabwe here, and then found people there and wrote to the British that I discovered Victoria Falls. Are you joking? <laughs> You discovered yet your, 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 your companions and the people that were, were actually helping you to walk through the jungles of Africa mm -hmm. who knew what, was, what Victoria mm -hmm. Falls was. Mm -hmm. Mosi Atunya, the yes. smoke that thunders. thunders. Ah. From afar, you could hear it. Boom, boom. Mm -hmm. People were staying there, they can hear it thunder. You, you just need to be there and see it. Yes. You, you understand? You can hear it roar yes. from afar. <laughs> and there were people who were staying there. Ah. So how did you discover what we already <laughs> were experiencing? We're not talking about that. Yeah. That's, that's, that's some foolish discovery. Mm -hmm. Now, we're talking here mm. of a certain level of seeking that you can open a door that the church begins to play in that like it's nothing. Oh, yes. <laughs> it will even get to a point where people go like, mm. oh, what is this miracle money thing? Why? Because we, we, we demoted it. Oh, yes. Then you have then knocking and the door shall be found, shall be open. Mm -hmm. That dimension is a dimension where you can't open. You can see the knob, yes. but the knob is not on the door side. Mm -hmm. It's on the inside. Mm -hmm. So all you can do is you know there is a dimension that this man is walking in. I don't know what it is, yes. but there is a dimension that Brother Branham was walking in. Mm -hmm. wow. I have no idea what it is, but I know to get there, it's only Brother Branham who can open from the inside of the door wow. and pull me in. The, 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 the dimension of knocking mm. has no knob on the outside. Oh, wow. yes. <laughs> so you can only knock. And guess what the Bible says? The door shall be opened. It is based on the person inside, whether he wants to allow you in mm. or not. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm. Seek and it shall be given to you. Uh, ask and it shall be given to you. Seek, you will find. Yes. Ah. Not somebody will give you. You, you will find. Yes. Knock. Someone will open the door for you. Mm -hmm. mm. Even if it looks like it's open. <laughs> no, say. There are people who move around with me and say, I, I'll prophesy just by moving around you. I said, no problem. You <laughs> keep moving around. Me. There is a thing that will open that door. Mm. Yes. There is something. Oh, what yes. venison are you carrying? <laughs> What is your venison? Oh, yes. wow. Have you discovered my venison? Mm. Mm. Wow. <laughs> I tell people this is why we do Missions Week. We have Missions Week uh, 26, I believe. Yeah. 26 of February. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, for a week. Mm -hmm. I tell people this is where you see my venison. This is where you mm. find out what my venison is. Oh, yes. mm. If I was just saying, bring here, sit here, talk to you, I'm talking to you. Let's... No, 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 no. When we are doing our Missions Week, oh, yes. You hear what we want to do with what we wanna, we, 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 we're doing. Mm. And then you go like, wait a minute. Mm. So that's what is venison is, oh, yes. Missions Week. Amen. So I prepare myself for Missions Week. Mm. I prepare myself for every day of the week. Oh, yes. Like, you know what? On Monday, I'll do this. On Tuesday, I'll do this. Yes. Wednesday, I'll do this. Friday, bomb. Mm. Grenade on Monday. Oh, yes. wow. what, are we, what are we doing? I'm preparing for the what? For the venison. Mm. Yes, Lord. Because you know this is the week where you find the prophet's venison. Amen. Mm. Amen. Yes. Have you found my venison? Mm. There it is, Missions Week. Yes. yes. Raise your hands everywhere around the world. Raise your yes. hands everywhere. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your grace. Yes, yes. We thank you for your mighty hand. Mm. We thank you for your glory. Yes, Lord. We thank you. We appreciate you. Mm. We honor you. Mm. We favor you our path by knowing who you are. Yes, Lord. We favor our outcome by following you. Mm. Yes. 
We favor our destiny by being part and parcel of a nation called after you. Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for those who are giving their tithe and their offering tonight. Mm. Bless them mightly. Yes, Lord. Show them your mercy. Yes, Lord. Let not one of them be replaced. Yes, Lord. They are irreplaceable. Yes, Lord. Their seed will make them irreplaceable. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Mm. Amen and amen. amen. Wherever you are, the promptings are on your screen. And just go and give your tithing and your offering. It is that time where we understand that this year we are different church. We are different people. We are different nation. We are different world. Good news world, good news nation. We are different. We can't give what we used to give before and expect a difference. This year is going to be a different year. Tell yourself that. And just give. You're not giving out of compulsion, not being forced. No, there is no gimmick here. Even when we do, we raise our, we do our fundraising, we tell you, we are doing this. Yes. That's it. Give yes. for this. Yes. Uh, the yes. preaching is just the cream de la cream. Mm. Uh, cream at the top. Oh, yes. uh, you know, but the reality is, all we are trying to do is to tell you what we are doing with your finances. Mm. And we are very, very open. Mm. Um, yes. And, and it's, it's just amazing. Mm. And listen to me. We want to talk a lot about things that you want us to talk about. But we also want to, to be able to be good stewards of what he has uh, you know, given us. Um, one day we're going to do um, a prophetic day for people on, during this missions week. Yes. Oh, so yes. um, it's going to be brilliant. And healing day, everything, testimonies and stuff like that. Yes. We're going to ha be happening here. Oh, yes. and I think we, we'll do it from this studio or from another location. Mm. We, we, we're just going to do something brilliant. Amen, amen, I assure amen, you, we're going to do amen. something very, very brilliant. Oh, yes. Uh, things are going to be amazing. <laughs> yes. All right. Go yes. and give right now. Go and give right now, wherever you are. Go and give. Those who are watching by way of television, do it. Those who are on Zoom, do it. Um, from all around the world, mm. it's your time to go and give your offering and your tithing. Oh, yes, Lord. As, we, as you're giving, which was just maybe some questions or some yes. comments or something like that. Mm. We have got, uh, this, this is a question mm -hmm. that Dumo Jamino is saying, are those who have passed on from this earth in their own planet, they passed on from this earth, are they in their own planet? I think the word planet is a very, very tricky one. It is the word world. But like I said before, there is a message called The, work, the Walking Dead. Mm -hmm. mm. It's on YouTube to show you that the dead are not in another location. Mm. They're everywhere. Trust me on it. There are scriptures that I put out there that a lot of people started calling me. Ah, is this scripture correct? Yeah, it is. It's there. A lot of them. That you realize that the dead are not gone anywhere. Mm -hmm. In the sense of going anywhere. Let me just explain something uh, while you're giving your offering and your tithing. Mm -hmm. Before the world was created and before the planets were created, what was there? <laughs> they're, not, they're not getting it. Mm -hmm. Before this whole world was created, what was there? Was it just a vacuum? Mm. That was a spiritual realm. Because only God stayed there. Mm. Mm. So wherever God stays is a, is a realm. Oh, yes. mm. Then God chose to create the universe mm. and put it somewhere. That means the physicality, that phys mm. physical thing, physical object was put in the spiritual realm. That means the earth is in the spiritual realm. Mm. That's why I say to you, he reached into wow. nowhere. Wow. <laughs> because there was nothing he had created to call somewhere. Amen. And grabbed something that was not there because he had not created the something that he could grab. Wow. <laughs> and formed something out of nothing because uh, he had not created anything that he could use as a byproduct, as a, as a, as a product, as a raw material to create the byproduct. Amen. Amen. And then he formed the earth with no point of reference because there was no earth to copy. Mm. Um, and he brought it and told it to stay there, yet there was no there he had created. Mm. And then he said, don't move. <laughs> God is marvelous. Amen. Amen. <laughs> the great preacher says, I know a God who takes a nobody and makes him into a somebody. <laughs> To Amen. tell everybody ah. about a somebody <laughs> who can save anybody. Amen. You know. 
Oh so, yeah. So there was, it's a spiritual realm. So imagine if that is the spiritual realm. Uh, the Bible says it this way, that, um, that um, we are come unto Mount Zion. Is it true? Mm. Mm -hmm. To an innumerable of number of angels. angels. Is that true? Amen. And to Mount Zion. Is that true? It's true. It's true. Then he says one statement. To the spirits of just men made perfect. Oh. Mm -hmm. to a heavenly Jerusalem. We agree that that's where we are now. Yes. Now it says in this environment we call, I like the scriptures. The, the, you know, I like King James. He didn't say we are now in Mount Zion. No, we are come unto. Mm -hmm. We are come unto Mount Zion. Ah. <laughs> unto the city of the living God. Right now as Christians, oh, yes. we are not entering. See, Abraham was looking for a city mm. whose builder and maker is who? Is God. With no foundations as this earthly foundation. Oh, yes. mm. Listen, the man lived in tents. Mm. He never wanted to build a solid building. Oh, yes. mm. Because he was on a journey to look for another world. Mm. It's Mount Zion. Oh, yes. Not the Mount Zion in physical. My God. And under the city of the living God, innumerable company of angels. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And the general assembly of the church of the firstborn, which are written in the heaven. I want you to show the pictures that I, 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 I sent you there. I want you to see it, mm -hmm. please, mm -hmm. you know, before I forget, because mm -hmm. I was about to, to, to forget this. Uh, notice here. Do you see that? Earth's largest asteroid impact craters. That is showing you a whole lot of things that have happened here. Mm -hmm. Some of it in diameter. We're talking about 22.8 kilometers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's in Kazakhstan. Mm -hmm. In South Africa, 7.4 kilometers. Mm. We're talking about diameter here. Mm. Crater diameter and asteroid diameter. Oh, yes. mm. I don't know if you're getting this. Mm. Siberia, 100 kilometers. Mm. 140 kilometers South Africa. Canada, 140 kilometers. Mm -hmm. 80 in Russia, 17 in Quebec. A Sweden is 52. Mm. All right? Russia is 50. Quebec again, 46. has got two there. Brazil has got 40. What is really taking place here? Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're getting this. Amen. If you look at Genesis 7, verse number 11, just, just for the sake of looking at Jesus, uh, so verse number 11. In, in the 600th year of Noah's life, in the sev second month, the 17th day of the month, the same day where all the fountains of the great deep broken up mm. Mm. and the windows of heavens were opened. <laughs> so the earth, boom! Mm. Craters are being developed. Because mm -hmm. mm. these were huge springs. Wow. Mm. They started giving water, adding water to the water. And the heavens rain and non-stop rain for 150 days. Mm. The fountains of the heavens opened and this one went up like this. Genesis 8, verse number 2. Mm. Genesis 8, verse number 2 and 3. Genesis 8. Mm. The fountains also of the deep and the windows of heaven were stopped. Then he stopped them. Mm -hmm. And the rain from heaven was restrained. Mm. But remember we talked about this is Noah. Oh, yes. But then there was a flood. Show me the moon right now. They're talking about 80 billion tons of some. All right? That's water on the moon. Wow. It's not a radar, it's the moon. Mm -hmm. For centuries, astronomers debated whether water exists on Earth's closest neighbor. In 2020, data from NASA, Sophia mission confirmed water exists in the sunlit area of the lunar surface of the molecules of H2O embedded within, or perhaps sticking to the surface of grains of lunar dust. Let's wow. go. I want to see something. Billions of water reserves found on moon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Reveals tiny glass beads of water spread across the moon's surface. Scientists claim the moon may have billions of tons of water on its surface. Mm. 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 <laughs> wow. 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 My God. Mm. It says the earth and the planets and the stars and the heavens, the heavenly bodies, sticking out and standing in water. Mm -hmm. mm. So we know we're talking about heaven, mm. talking about. Uh, 
the planetary bodies. Yes. All right. Yes. Question. Mm -hmm. We've got another question here, Daddy. Mm -hmm. From Aquila. He's asking, is the blood transfusion wrong or donating our blood to someone is wrong? As prophet, you spoke about blood and water. Huh? Aquila is asking, is, donate, is, is blood transfusion wrong or donating our blood to No, it's not, is bad. Ah. it's not bad. Mm. It's not bad. It's not bad. Okay. And prophet, uh, we have another one. Uh -huh. Andrew 7 is saying, Dad, how do you explain that God does not live in heaven, yet scripture you just opened? 1 John 5 verse 7 says, mm -hmm. these three be a record in heaven. Why does um, the Bible put heaven yet? We so, know. I went to bear record in court, but I don't live in court. Mm. <laughs> Uh, have you ever been a witness in court? Yes, sir. Do you stay there? We don't stay there. Oh, no. Thank you. Wow. wow. <laughs> That's <laughs> hard. <laughs> Another question. No, it's not a problem, but I understand. I'm not trying to, to be smart, Alec. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to show you something. Now, just go to um, uh, Second Chronicles seven, verse number twelve. Second Chronicles seven, verse number twelve. Second Chronicles seven, verse number twelve. The Lord appeared to Solomon at night and said unto him, "I have heard thy prayer and have chosen a pl um, this place to myself as a house of sacrifice. Mm -hmm. uh, if I shut up the heaven, that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour, right? Are you getting this? Yes, to devour the land, mm -hmm. or if I send pestilence among the people." Mm -hmm. If my people which are called by my name shall turn, I'll forgive their sin. Let's go. Let's go. I want to go somewhere. Not mine eyes shall open and mine ears attend unto their prayer that is made in this place. Mm -hmm. Now, mine eyes. For now have I chosen and sanctified this house that my name may be there forever and mine eyes and mine heart shall be there perpetually. Mm -hmm. Notice. He seems as if he has moved from heaven. He's now in a house now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if you're getting this. Oh, yes, yes. 1 Kings 8, verse number 27. Mm. 1 Kings 8, 27. Are you there? Yes. But will God indeed dwell in the earth? Behold, he can't stay here. Oh. Behold, the heaven and heaven of other heavens cannot contain him. Hey. How much this church you build can't contain me. <laughs> I don't know whether, I think it has been answered. Okay, yeah, just a little bit of thinking that I have. Uh, now, if you go again to Second Chronicles 2, verse number 6. Second Chronicles 2, verse number 6. Second Chronicles 2, verse number 6. But who is able to build him a house? Who are you that you are able to build me a house? Seeing the heaven and heaven of heavens cannot contain him. Who am I then that I should build him a house save only to bend sacrifice before him? <laughs> so the only place why I'm putting this church together <laughs> is to put sacrifices to him. Oh, yes. People don't know why we have church buildings. <laughs> to give. <laughs> to give. <laughs> to sacrifice. <laughs> That's the only reason. That's the only reason. People wonder why, we, why do we go to church? To go and give him. Oh, yes. He has chosen a location where he could receive offerings from. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you wow. might not like it. You thought you came to sing <laughs> and, and do one on one with the prophet. Mm. Ah, no, no, no. God says, no, no, no. The only reason I'm building a church mm. is for me to put sacrifices in, to build him something. Mm. <laughs> wow. This is powerful. <laughs> All right, another question. Another question. We've got uh, a question from Willow Dixon who's saying, Dear Prophet, please shed some light on how Jeshuran forsook God with strange gods. That's Deuteronomy 32, verse 15 to 16, according to this person. That's but, but remember, when we're dealing with um, the word Jeshuran, we're using from context. Mm -hmm. The context I use it is from when you look at the uh, pretext, is now giving you scriptures mm. 
that talk about 10,000 of his sayings. God came down from Mount Paran. So we're talking about the different story. Then I said, the word Jeshurun means the holy ones. Mm -hmm. So when you see it in another place, how did the holy ones forsake God? Mm -hmm. Big difference. Mm -hmm. I know what's mixing this and that mm -hmm. is happening. Mm -hmm. All right. Hope, hope I made it clear. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Indeed. Also, okay. Yeah. Okay. You can take it. <laughs> okay. We also have Aquila with a question here. He's saying, after the rapture, will the second heaven, evil being, will come to earth? Hmm? After if the what? If this is true. After the what? After the rapture. Uh -huh. Will the second heaven, evil being, will come the to earth? The second heaven, what? Second heaven, evil being. Evil being? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> evil being. This is a very different uh, Bible he was uh, <laughs> Whatever you are smoking, I need it. <laughs> I, no, I have no idea what, what he's talking about. <laughs> Do you have an idea what he's saying? Ah. You're confused. I'm not really getting it, yes. Okay, okay, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> I'm joking, I don't need what you're smoking. <laughs> What's the tea? What's happening? Yes, Prophet. Uh, this one is from Amit Elijah Angel. It is asking, my father, are we talking about multiverse or multi-dimensions in the universe? Exactly the same thing. But of course, I don't want you to, to think we're talking about I, I always say to people, the Bible does not prove science. Mm -hmm. It's a scientific book. Oh, yes. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, it, it, you know, I don't want you to go to NASA and mean try to come back and go like, I think we're talking about this, or a movie and we talk about this. Um, the crying out of our hearts for this multiverse and, you know, multi universes mm -hmm. and so our parallel universes. And if I had time, I would go on this longer, but we're going to have part two, I believe. Yes. Um, yes. Let me tell you, we need it, right? Yeah. Thank you, <laughs> when he did. Uh, the, the part two of this is kind of a sign that ladies and gentlemen, we have the earth mm -hmm. trying to see things that we have already found, you know, at the deep, call it into, unto the deep. Oh, yes. That means when humanity says, you want to look at multiverse, we know for sure something in our hearts mm -hmm. is telling us there's something out there. Mm -hmm. Most of you have uh, seen what we call a uh, De, deja vu, yes. right? Yes. Amen. That is an access into another world you have just seen. Mm. You see this thing the right now, yes. you move out, you go like the same thing repeats itself. Mm -hmm. If you were clever and you could harness this thing in your spirit, some, some stamina, you, you understand. Oh, yes. you, you gain stature in the realm of the spirit and you gain stamina in the realm of the spirit. Mm. You can literally say, God, wait a minute, I need to enter there. Mm. You can go to the location where you're seeing the second thing and stand there. You've transitioned to another realm and you can still come back. But you can get locked in there. Oh my God. And they find you dead and you'll be buried. Aye. So you need to find to, to gain stamina. That's why it just flashes and goes. Mm -hmm. That means your spirit has gained a certain level of, uh, you know, stamina in the spirit that you can actually see the spiritual realm open for you. And then the next thing is, if you go in there, will you be able to sustain yourself while it's in there? Is there enough nutrients in the realm of the spirit to sustain you in that dimension which you have just seen three times, four times, kind of parading itself and saying, we are here, we are here, just come this side. Mm. You go in there and you find that you have actually moved into a timeline of demonic entities. Mm. Because remember, these are timelines being placed. Oh, yes. I don't want to go there, but yes. these are timelines being placed against each other and across each other. Amen. These are just timelines. Oh, yes. We are not in a year. We are in a timeline. Mm -hmm. Amen. Your eon and my eon and his eon crossed path. Mm -hmm. So right now they are, that's why it says the lines have fallen play in right good places. Yes. So we have some lines that we are moving and then they are stuck together and you realize, oh my God, I just called you be an angel, my father. And your spirit keeps on doing it. Your spirit keep, keeps on wanting to be part of it, mm -hmm. wanting to be part of it. Before you know it, you're consumed in it. Oh, yes. Because your line and my line, they follow each other. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know if you're getting this. Okay, yes, That's why the Bible says Christ was crucified before the foundation of the world. Mm. How is he crucified before the foundation of the world when the world had not sinned? Mm. That means God simply crucified him and took a timeline when he died mm -hmm. and then juxtapositioned it in 1990 or mm. 2004 where you got born again or 2010 when you got born again yes. and boom, he puts it there. So he's just taking a line and placing it like this, placing it like that, placing it like that. Mm. So our lines are crossing but Christ is already dead. Oh. And already resurrected. Oh, yes. I don't know if you understand. That means if the children of Israel in the Old Testament had agreed that they are not good enough to keep the rules of God, Christ would have been sent way back during the time of Moses. Mm -hmm. My God. I don't know if you are getting this. Oh. But they said we could do it. Because of time, I don't want to waste your time. Thank you so very much. I believe in God. Because I believe in miracles. And I believe in miracles because I believe in God. Amen. I am not out of good news. I'm just out of time. We love you and see you again this Sunday. Everyone watching me, be in the building. Yes. All right? Mm. Be in the building. Mm. Uh, the football will be played when again? Sunday, no, Sunday night? Sunday. Sunday. Yes. yes. So we're going to be in the building. Mm. Come to the building. Oh, yes. <laughs> All soccer players, you're welcome. Sunday service. Yes. You're very much welcome. Mm. And the moment we're about to say this cause, we'll say it to our people in the, in the church. Oh, yes. That's it. As a matter of fact, I actually said it. <laughs> but anyway, we love you so very much. We love you so very much. And may God bless you and increase you. We'll see you again. And remember, there is Missions Week. Oh, yes. yes. There is Missions Week. Mm. It is the best Missions Week. And remember the last week, Missions Week, we did crazy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So yes. This yes. Missions Week, no excuse. Yes. No excuse. Yes. We love you. We love you so very much. Amen. See you. Amen. Oh, I'm not lacking in the land of the living when my God is sufficient for me. I'm just favored. Many people are suffering wearing garments of reproach. The land is flowing milk and honey for me.